I do, as I said before, join my colleagues who support the single-payer plan. Going forward, would you personally support something like what Senator Bernie Sanders has suggested, which would be a Medicare for All plan? Oh, absolutely. I believe that health care is a right, not a privilege, and I believe it is a responsibility, not an option. I also believe that health, our health care system must be prudent and cost effective, and quite honestly, I've seen nothing that does a better job of addressing that concern than the single payer system. What we ultimately want to have is meaningful health care reform. And for me, meaningful health care reform means that we must have universal coverage, we must have portability, we must have choice of provider, and we must, of course, have cost savings. Now I'd like to turn it over to the team, starting with our next Secretary of Health and Human Service, Javier Becerra. Now it's our turn to discover the breathtaking opportunities before us in the midst of this hardship and pain. It's our turn to build up and to back up our doctors and medical professionals, our hospitals and clinics battling the coronavirus. Our turn to restore faith and confidence in our leaders, to deliver solutions that unite and heal us and inoculate us from fear. Javier spent a career fighting to expand access to health care, reducing racial health disparities, protecting the Affordable Care Act, and take on powerful special interests to prey on profit off of people's health from opioid manufacturers to big tobacco. If you qualify for Medicaid and you do not have the wherewithal in your state to get Medicaid, you automatically are enrolled, providing competition for insurance companies. That's what's going to happen. I am proud to have this chance to implement the president-elect's vision for a better America through the challenging assignments that are in store for the Department of Health and Human Services. Manuel and Maria Teresa had only their health and hope when they arrived in California, a road construction worker with a sixth grade education and a clerical worker who arrived in her teens from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. As they helped build a better California, they built a pretty good partnership that lasted 67 years. And while they never got to experience the inside of a college, they did send their four kids there, as well as to the military. If we are really truly concerned about making sure healthcare reform is there for us, we must make sure it's there for us all the time and that we are there with the responsibility to pay for it, whether we like it or not.